we're going to look now at acids, acids and bases and their relationship to water, the concentration of them, and the log scale that we use to record them, the pH and pOH scale. So water by itself will self-ionize to produce hydronium ion and hydroxide ion. This happens at a very low concent concentration. So for pure water, that gives a concentration of 1 times 10 to the minus 7 molarity for both of those. We write the equilibrium expression for this, and we get um, the hydrogen ion times hydroxide ion is equal to the equilibrium constant, call this Kw, W for water. And if we put in these concentrations of 1 times 10 to minus 7, we get a constant of 1.0 times 10 to minus 14. And this is true at 25 degrees Celsius, and uh, it will vary with temperature. And we generally ignore the temperature variation uh, unless we're doing more precise work. The concentration can vary tremendously because if we, uh, in this relationship here, uh, the product is equal to a constant. So that means that these are inversely related. So if we increase concentration of the acid, the base will have to decrease. If we decrease the concentration of the acid, the base is going to increase. So we know that we can buy like 18 molar hydrochloric acid. That's uh, already like eight orders of magnitude different from pure water for the hydrogen ion concentration. Um, so the hydroxide is varying in the opposite direction, but also the similar orders of magnitude. So our concentrations vary over many orders of magnitude. When we do this, we like to use a logarithmic scale to uh, show the concentration. So the pH scale is negative base 10 log of the hydronium ion concentration. So for neutral water, the base 10 log will give us negative 7, the negative turns into positive 7. So neutral water is a pH of 7. Acidic water is uh, higher concentrations in this. The higher concentrations be a smaller negative exponent. So the numbers are getting smaller. So smaller numbers, and there's no bottom on this. We can actually have a negative pH. So base is going to be greater than 7. And if we have our pH, we want to get our hydrogen ion back out. The inverse of this relationship is hydrogen ion is 10 to the minus pH. There's a similar scale for hydroxide ion, the pOH scale. And that P means negative base 10 log. So we'll see that in front of other things as we go along through this chapter. So pOH is negative base 10 log of hydroxide. Also, hydroxide is equal to negative 10 to the negative pOH. The um, relationship between these two is pH plus pOH equals 14. This is this equation written in logarithmic form. So it's the exact same equation. It also means that we can convert between these four properties, pH, pOH, hydroxide, and hydronium ion. So we have multiple paths that we can use when we convert between these calculations. And before we start our calculation, our significant figures. So uh, on our pH, the, um, the primary number before the decimal point is showing the order of magnitude, it's showing the exponent up here. And it's the decimal places that represent the significant digits on the concentration. So let's look at some calculations here. So we have a hydrogen ion concentration of 7.4 times 10 to the minus 3. We can calculate a number of these properties here. So I'm going to go through and calculate in all sorts of directions. So to get the hydroxide ion concentration, we're 
solve this equation for hydroxide, so we end up with Kw over hydronium ion. We put in our values, and we get uh, 1.4 times 10 to the minus 12. So the hydrogen ion is high, 10 to the minus 3. The hydroxide ion gets lower, it's 10 to the minus 12. So pH is negative base 10 log of the hydrogen ion, so we stick our hydrogen ion in there. Uh, this is a two sigma digits, so we're going to give our answer two decimal places. So the pH is 2.13. pOH, the opposite end of um, our uh, square here, I'm going to calculate in two different ways. So pOH is 14 minus pH from this equation. So 14 minus 2.13 gives us 11.87. pOH is also a negative base 10 log of hydroxide. We stick in our hydroxide concentration, got a little messed up, 1.4 times 10 to the minus 12, and we end up with, with 11.86 for our hydro, um, for our POH. And we see that there's a, the last decimal place varies slightly between our two different populations, and that is the property of significant digits. Our last significant digit can vary slightly. So we're going to start now with hydroxide. So we're given a hydroxide concentration of 6.2 times 10 minus 9. We can turn it into hydrogen ion using this equation. So our hydrogen ion is Kw over hydroxide. We put in our values, and we get 1.6 times 10 minus 6 coming out. Again, the hydroxide is lower than neutral, so the acid is higher than neutral. pOH is negative base 10 log of the hydroxide, and we end up with 8.21. And you'll see that uh, the pH is always going to be within one digit of that exponent here. So this number is between 10 to minus 9 and 10 to minus 8. So our pH is between 8 and 9. pH is 14 minus pOH. Uh, so 14 minus 8.21 gives us 5.79. pH is also a negative based on log of the hydrogen ion. Stick that in, and we get a 5.80. Again, these differ by just the very last uh, decimal place, very last significant digit. So starting with pH now. The hydrogen ion is 10 to the minus pH. So pH is 2.43, 10 to the minus 2.43 gives us a, a 3.7 times 10 to the minus 3. So we have two decimal places. We're going to have two significant digits in our concentration. pOH, 14 minus pH, 14 minus 2.43 gives us 11.57. Hydroxide, I'll do two different ways. So uh, our Kw over hydronium ion gives us 2.7 times 10 to the minus 12. So we have a high concentration of hydronium ion. We have a very low concentration of hydroxide. Then uh, the other way, hydroxide is 10 to the minus pOH. So 10 to the minus 11.57 gives 2.7 times 10 to the minus 12. So the same answer both ways. Although again, that last significant digit can change with these calculations. So starting with pOH, pOH of 11.75, hydroxide ion concentration is 10 to the minus pOH. 10 to the minus 11.75 gives us a concentration of hydroxide of 1.8 times 10 to the minus 12. pH is 14 minus pOH. So 14 minus 11.75 gives us 2.25. Hydrogen ion is 10 to the minus pH. 10 to the minus 2.25 gives 5.6 times 10 to the minus 3. And then uh, using the equilibrium equation, hydrogen ion is Kw over hydroxide. That gives us 5.6 times 10 to the minus 3. So let's do a, a, an acid. So we have a high chloric acid equal to 0.25 molarity. So hydrochloric acid, which you remember as being a strong acid, so it has a strong acid, 
it fully disassociates. So this concentration is the concentration of the hydronium ion. So to get the pH, we do the negative base analog of the hydronium ion, so negative base analog of 0.25. Then we get a 0 0.6. 0 0.60, 0, so we got uh, two significant digits. We got two decimal places. Um, so the PHCl doesn't have a bottom. It will go negative at higher concentrations. When the concentration gets above one, uh, it's going to become negative on our pH. The hydroxide, Kw over hydrogen ion, and that gives us 4.0 times 10 minus 14. So our hydrogen ion is really high. Our hydroxide ion concentration is really low. POH, negative base analog of hydroxide, that gives us 13.40. Or it's 14 minus pH, which also gives us 13.40. Our last one is the base, calcium hydroxide. A strong base. Um, in this case, it gives us two hydroxides for each calcium ion. So we have to do a stoichiometric ratio to convert the dissolved calcium hydroxide into the dissolved hydroxide. And of course, there's two hydroxides in one calcium hydroxide. That's our stoichiometric ratio. So we multiply the concentration of calcium hydroxide by two, and we're going to get the concentration of the hydroxide 2.6 times 10 minus 3. Similarity. So POH is a negative base analog of hydroxide. That gives us a 2.59 for the POH. The hydronium ion is Kw over hydroxide. That gives us 3.8 times 10 to the minus 12. pH is 14 minus POH. So 14 minus the 2.59 gives us 11.41. And pH is also a negative base analog of the Hydronium ion, so a negative base analog of 3.8 times 10 to minus 12 gives us 11.42. And again, it's just the very last decimal place, very last significant digit that differs by one in this one. So these are the calculations we are expected to be able to do. Um, practice, 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 and email in your questions or show up on office hours on Zoom to ask your questions.